The Garfield movie released today on May 24th, and I watched it, and uh... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So we have a lot to talk about when it comes to this movie, and why I think it's so, so bad. The story itself was pretty bad, and it's very convoluted. So there's gonna be some spoilers here, just a heads up, but let me see if I can explain this nonsense of a story. So basically, you have Garfield and Odie and John, you know, just being at home, living their best life. And then one day Garfield and Odie get kidnapped by these weird animals. And then Garfield's father, Vic, who apparently abandoned him uh, as, a, uh, as a child, comes to save them. And then this weird uh, this weird British feline. I can't. I don't know. I don't know her, what her name is. I, I don't know what her name is. Like, Could somebody tell me her name in the comments? Because I genuinely can't remember her name. Basically, her and Vic were part of this cat gang, I guess. And when they were doing a heist, uh, she got captured and got sent to, to prison. And when Vic tried to save her, he was unsuccessful. And now she's trying to get revenge because she wants Vic to experience the hell she experienced. That is a bit unnatural. That that would only make sense to, to like a tiny like kid who was like, yeah, fight fire with fire. But it's just like, to me, it's like, why are you even planning this heist in the first place? And like, if if someone gets caught, you know, good that you caught someone from the heist. I don't know why you didn't catch the rest of them. But anyways, then Garfield, Odie, and Vic. Uh, go to this uh, milk factory to try to get the the gallons of milk uh, Because apparently that's what the feline ordered Vic to do or else they'd get killed but wh While they're doing this operation they they come across this cow who apparently Wants to get back to with his with this other cow and there's this security guard who plans this big trap for Garfield Odie and Vic to get in and then when Vic brings the milk to the feline, apparently it's a trap and then Garfield and Odie get sent uh, to the animal pound, but then John finds them. Garfield and Odie go back home with John, but then Garfield realizes that Vic has actually been uh, watching Garfield this ent uh, entire time next to his house, so he actually didn't abandon him. So now Garfield and Odie go to save Vic. But then just when it looks like everything is about to end, like Vic is about to get killed, Garfield's about to get killed, these two guys who kidnapped Garfield and Odie in the beginning, they turn their back on the on the British feline, and then she gets captured, and then Garfield and Odie go back home once more, and then Vic visits sporadically. That's basically the entire story. The music is also a bit overkill at times. There are three instances where they use this very big like violin orchestra sad music uh, to explain like their flashbacks and why we should feel sad for Garfield and Odie and Vic. And I'm not gonna lie, at one point, in one instance, it almost worked. It almost worked because when Vic was explaining to Garfield why he he abandoned him, he actually didn't abandon him. He was just looking for food for both of them to eat. And then when he saw that he was happier with John, like he decided to just leave him. And that that scene almost got me. I'm not gonna lie. It almost got me, and I feel ashamed saying that, because immediately after the scene ended, I was just immediately transported back to, Ugh, this movie sucks. So, yeah, it was a quick distraction, but, you know, it, it did not work on me, and it probably didn't work on anyone else watching this movie. So, yeah, that that's basically the most I can say for the Garfield movie. The only good song is the one that plays on the end. It's called Let It Roll by Keith Urban and Snoop Dogg. And it, it was promoted for the movie. I thought it was going to be like in the credits, but it's actually not in the credits at all. It's in, it's in the ending sequence where Vic is in Garfield's house. But yeah, that's basically the Garfield movie. And if I were to give this movie a rating, I'd probably give it a 4 out of 10. I think it's, it's complete garbage in my opinion. 
Like I would give it a three, but I think it's a being it's being a bit too harsh. Like there are just, just some kind 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 of good things on here. From three below, three, two, and one, and even zero for me are just like okay. There's almost nothing good here, but there are some good things on this movie. It's just that the the main things that we're supposed to see is very very bad. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick review of the Garfield movie. If you if you want to watch this, I suggest you watch this with people because yeah, if you're watching this by yourself, it's it's not good. If if and if you're going to watch it with people, you might as well just find like people who like this kind of bad humor. I I I I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say about this movie. It sucks. A 4 out of 10. Take care. Have a good day. <laughs> this movie sucks, bro.